Today we're going to make our own cloud in a bottle. To do this easy science experiment we're going to first drill a hole in our bottle top. Then we're going to take an ordinary ballpoint pen and strip it down so we just have the tube. I'm using this because it fits my pump attachment. Next I'll feed the pen through the bottle cap so the thin end is pointing up as this is what I'll be connecting to. The hole in the lid should be just wide enough to allow the pen through but snug enough so it jams on the pen's thicker end. Now I'll pour a small amount of isopropyl alcohol into the bottle and give it a quick shake to agitate it before attaching our pump. With the setup complete we can start adding pressure to the bottle. When you add enough quickly remove the pen and you should see that a cloud has instantly formed. This small experiment mimics what happens in nature but on a much smaller scale. Water molecules are present in the air all around us in a form called vapour. Under normal conditions these molecules go about the way bouncing about the atmosphere and won't usually stick together. Pumping these molecules together in the bottle causes them to compress with each other. The quick release of this pressure allows the air to expand again resulting in a drop of temperature. Similar to as we explained in the DIY freezing kit project. This cooling allows the molecules to stick together and condense forming tiny droplets of water. These tiny droplets of water are what make up our clouds. The reason isopropyl alcohol is used instead of just water is that it gives a better visual result. Alcohol molecules have weaker bonds than water so there are more molecules present in the bottle. The more molecules in our bottle the more there are to condense and form droplets making our cloud. So tell me what you think below and as always if you want more details then don't forget to check out our site the link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video then please leave it a like rating. You can also share your thoughts by leaving a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to share the link to this video using the share the link feature on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with our videos then please click on the subscribe button and on your screen now are two videos for you to check out if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.